So let me bring uh, this uh, workbench environment to the screen and start building. So uh, a customer of us sent us a DGN file uh, for a site where uh, they plan uh, some reconstruction project. So let's add a DGN file to Workbench. Uh, this DGN file represents just a boundary of the project. Ah, a little shout out to our friends in Langley. I think this is Langley data, isn't it? Yes, it is Langley. My data. home city. So thanks. thanks. So let's read it by uh, levels, by names. Okay. So we will see that this is a our project boundary. Okay. So, and we have all kinds of data to provide this customer with, with uh, point clouds uh, and trusters. So, uh, let's add some E57 files. Hey, there's a little something for our friends uh, that like E57. Yeah, this is a new format we added. So, we have a couple of files here. So, these are point clouds. Yes, they're point clouds. So, E57 is a standard, and uh, we added support in FME. 2013 for it. And we also have uh, some uh, orthophoto, uh, an image in ECW. So uh, because we have uh, two point clouds, let's first make just a single one with point cloud combiner transformer. then uh, we probably need some extra uh, space around the project. So let's buffer our boundary with buffer. Okay. So you're typing in these transformers are coming up that are modifying the data as it flows through, I guess. This is such a great capability in FME. I really yeah. love it. Okay. Well, but you have to know all the names of the transformers. <laughs> yeah, that's the one thing. But they're, you can learn them. Yes. Then um, what okay. is uh, great about... Uh, combining all kinds of data together that we can uh, somehow take, for example, uh, colors from the ortho image and bring them to our point clouds. Yes. So for that, we have point cloud on raster component set. I that's think that's the of, longest name we have. Yeah, it's a powerful <laughs> thing, but we should call it the colorizer. And I see there's a question from one customer uh, tuned in that that's exactly why he's tuned into the webinar. So please, now you've seen your answer, I hope that customer stays to watch the rest because they said that's exactly what they were looking for. So, yeah. uh, okay, that's great. Uh, so, and now uh, our point clouds and our raster can be bigger than the customer needs, so let's uh, clip them to this project boundary or buffered project boundary with yes. a clipper transformer. Okay. So that will be our clipper and we will send our point cloud as a clip P to the clipper. And now we can uh, write it to board format because MicroStation uh, works with uh, POD format, point, point tools format. Uh, we so we need to um, add make, a point yeah. tools writer. And I want to thank our Bentley friends for supplying us the ability to do that. Okay. So okay, we're so this is setting up the output into the pod format, another LiDAR or point cloud format that's used by MicroStation now. Okay. So yeah. you've clipped out, so you've colorized and clipped. Yeah, but uh, here is uh, the thing. Uh, our image is 24 bit. So uh, we have just 8 bits, so a number between 0 and 255 for each color, for okay. red, green, and blue. But uh, pod format uh, needs colors in 16 uh, bit per color so we have to scale those colors to uh, to meet the standard that uh, requires required by port uh, files so for that we need point cloud color scalar transformer okay right because uh, sometimes some of these point clouds the colors from 0 to 255 and sometimes we want it to go to the full 16 there we go Okay. All right. So we've done a nice job of the pod. Yeah. Now, but we need some kind of um, of overview of this project so that we can give it to uh, to my mother, for example. Yes. Yes. Okay. So that they can easily view it and understand what is going. So for the general public, for that, let's generate a surface. Okay. 
uh, from the point cloud. Okay. And now we need... Uh, or are you going to try to color the surface? You must have to set the tolerance for that surface. Yes. Oh, a very fine surface. <laughs> but uh, we also need to uh, clip our, our, our ortho photo. OK, you're going to do another clip. Yes. Okay. The same boundary. So whenever you have two things coming out of one transformer, there's a copy of the data going there. So we've duplicated our clipper, and you've duplicated the image. But FME is very fast about doing that. And so now you've got a clipped image. What are you going to do with that? I'm going to put it on top of the surface. Oh, slap it onto the surface. Yes. With appearance setter. OK. Appearance, surface. And I would like to say that we need to do that from top view. OK. And now, I know that that area is pretty flat. So I think it, it would be nice if we scale it a little bit for better visibility. So we can add scalar transformer. OK. Say, let's scale along Z by 2. And finally, you can add a writer, which can be read by anyone. PDF, 3D. Okay, so you're going to put out a 3D PDF. Yes. Just okay. The background. So I think we are ready to run this thing. Okay, wow. So we're going to be clipping out a chunk. We're going to be colorizing. We're making a surface. We're making a 3D PDF. We're writing pod. Um, Dimitri, is that all going to work? Well, let's hope it will. <laughs> <laughs> so it takes just a few seconds. It failed because... Uh-oh. Huh? Did you... Let me give another... PDF must have the wrong directory. Did they set it? I don't remember you setting the directory for the PDF. Sorry. Maybe I have to uh, give another name. And we wait with excitement as the PDF gets created. No, sir. I think there's something wrong with your directory. Or else you've got the PDF open already. I don't see it open. Let's just pick another directory for it. Let's go to here. Yeah. There we go, project.pdf up there. So we'll run it, and we'll take a look. So all of that stuff, how many times have we run this now? About three or four times? That's the third time. OK. So it's pretty fast to do all this. And here we go. Okay. And it's done. So I knew there's something wrong with that directory. So let's go up there where you put it. There's a project. And now there we go. There it is. OK. So that's what we can send my mother of the project area that we're working on. And we can see that there's a little bit of terrain there at that campus. That's out in the top end of Langley University campus, I think. And um, that's good. Now what about the pod file that you made? OK. For uh, inspecting pod, fly, uh, point fly, oh, you know, pod file, we can open MicroStation. That project boundary that we had at the beginning, open it. And here is that point cloud within MicroStation. So our customer now uh, is ready to, to work with this data uh, on reconstruction.